First Tech Challenge, or FTC for short, is a robotics competition that allows high school students to compete against each other head to head using robots they've built, designed, and programmed entirely themselves. On Saturday, March 1st, the Student Memorial Center was temporarily transformed into a futuristic robotic arena when it hosted the FTC Championship Tournament. The teams consist of three people and is played on a 12-foot square playing field with one-foot high walls. The matches are two minutes and 30 seconds, and objects such as these yellow blocks are used to score points by making your robot move them to designated areas of the playing field. So that's how you play. But what exactly does it take to control the motions of these custom robotic machines? To make a robot in purse requires, well, first and foremost, a, a lot of dedication. It's a very time-consuming process. It's a, a lot of detail-oriented stuff. You, um, it takes a lot of knowledge. You have to know how to design, um, how to prototype. Um, and a very big part of it is knowing how to fail and get past that, because you can make 10 designs that don't work and have to go back and make an 11th one that does. So persistence is a really big thing. These students get first-hand experience at building and programming for robotics, both of which add to the life and motion of the machines. There's a lot of very spur-specific knowledge where it's not, you can know how to code, but there's a lot of very first centric um, knowledge that goes with building the robot where you have to know how the specific robot components work that first uses that are not, uh, they're not always used in other robot systems. Students who participate in FTC are more likely to go to college and twice as likely to major in math, science, or engineering, which is why everyone hopes the popularity of robotics and FTC will continue to rise. It's not a cheap process to build a robot, so it also it always really helps to have sponsors that can support your team. Uh, you know, some te uh, teams that I know um, have sponsors that let them use you know, a plasma cutter to help them make their robot. So things like that, donated supplies and, and sponsorship money is also a very big part of FIRST. So it's the connections that you build and being able to work as a team and being able to work professionally is a big part of FIRST. Reporting from Millersville University, I'm Sam Cornell.